Okay, I've been looking to upgrade my memory. Right now I have 8 gigabytes. And it's these uh, two DIMMs I have right here. And I'm going to try these new DIMMs that I just got. I've actually sent some back and got these ones in return because one of them wasn't working. So uh, let's go ahead and shut down. And, uh, whoops, hit the wrong thing. And, uh, unplug the power. Because I don't want to swap the RAM while the power is plugged in. Okay. So, yeah. Unplug in the power. And I'm going to remove these two dims. It's a little tight with this little power supply right next to the clips, but they still come out. They should. Or there's one. And here's the other one. And I'm just going to try one dim at a time. So I got this one here. clicks okay I'm gonna plug the power back in and uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and reset the CMOS which is just powering it on with the CMOS jumper on and then holding the button and shutting it off Okay, and now I'm going to power it up. And let's see what happens here. Fan's still going. Yeah, is it booting now? Yep, yeah, there it goes. So it booted up. Okay, let's go ahead and shut it down. And uh, this time I'm not going to have to reset the CMOS because this other DIMM has the exact same timing and voltage and everything that this one has. So I'm plugging the power. Okay, and then I'm going to remove this DIMM. So I got this one. Let's get the other one. And, uh, it's always a little hard to see. Okay, there we go. Two clicks. Okay, get the power plug back in. So it's hard doing things with one hand. Okay, let's turn the power on. And uh, it doesn't seem to be working. This is the same thing that happened with the last set I got. And I returned it and waited a month and got these ones today. And the exact same thing is happening. And it's very frustrating because I actually hoped to have this up to 16 gigabytes a month ago, or over a month ago, actually. Um, but this switch back to the other DIMM just to see. Let's go ahead and unplug it. So taking this DIMM out and putting the other one back in. Let's see if I could do this without too much trouble. I always have to wiggle around to find the right slot for it. 
I don't like these one-sided clips that they start using on motherboards. I always have more trouble with those. Okay. I did hear two clicks, or I felt two clicks. Let's get the power plugged back in. And let's hit the power button again. And it's booting. It gives me that error because I don't have both hard drives plugged in. And I have my user files on drive D. But I took out the, the drive rack to make room to put the RAM in and out. So one dim that doesn't work again. And I really hope I don't have to wait another month. But that's it.